was literally remnants of the hurricane. The winds were blowing. It was cold. But you know what? Nobody cared. Everybody was just so happy, and we were ready to get started, and they were excited. And there's a line of people outside. Nobody said boo. They're all like, thank you. It's not what hurts. It's what's still left there. It's embarrassing to walk around with no front teeth. Without front teeth, I don't speak well. My words are sometimes slurred. Almost every year it's either rain or snow or ice. And you know what? They come and we're so happy that they come. The energy, the excitement, the passion for what people are doing is palpable. Early this morning, volunteers started getting here at six in the morning. Six in the morning. People love this. You don't realize until it starts and you feel the adrenaline and all of a sudden the patients are there and things start happening and the next thing you know you're in the thick of it and you realize why you work so hard and why you do it for the patients. The dentist was absolutely wonderful. I was a little nervous because I said, okay, it's going to be free. Who's going to be working in my mouth? And then um, to have this dentist, he was just really, really good. I actually had three extractions. I didn't even know they were taken out. He said, it's done. The volunteers that come to Mission of Mercy do it because they really want to and they care to do so. So they're going to do the best that they can for the patients that come. And I've been at all of them. I love doing it. Uh, the patients are great, they're super appreciative. And the cool part is a lot of patients recognize you. Uh, and so when you've been doing it for a long time, and so, and same with students, we get to help a segment of the population that otherwise isn't gonna get help. Over the years, the patients that have been coming, they've been year after year after year after year, and they become, this becomes a dental home. And even had a doctor in the x-ray that was able to tell me what was going on with my mouth and make suggestions. We're using the radiology department from University of Connecticut. Then we brought a Panorex in. It's a $100,000 machine that Henry Schein gave us to use. And we're taking full x-rays. So for the oral surgeons, those are the x-rays that they like to have. This is all state-of-the-art equipment, everything that's going on here. I came in. The registration process was great. You had, I had somebody with me all the time. I didn't have a problem finding anything because somebody was leading me. Every patient has a patient escort who is a volunteer to make sure that the whole process is seamless. They, they don't get lost in the environment and they can go from one area to another. And they also have someone to help comfort them. This was fabulous. This was fabulous. I would suggest anybody, the wait in line was nothing. It was very much worth it. This is state-of-the-art. This is all the new equipment, all the new dental materials that you have. We take impressions, the impressions get poured up, and after they're poured, they go into a lab where they make the dentures here. Um, we pick the teeth, uh, they get set into the stone, and then they get acrylic added and clasps added, processed, and then they come back. We have about a two or three hour turnover that we're able to make a denture from the time the stone is done until it's ready. They're using top-notch quality teeth. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're using the best acrylic that you can buy. And this really just snapped into position there. I hope I can get it. Nice class. Tuber, the class bender. Yes. We have a dedicated group of volunteers. We had three people that came down from Vermont. This lab team lived in Bur Burlington, Vermont. Okay. And they came down on their own and volunteered. They came down on Friday. You're going to be here for the whole thing? And they stay for the whole today. thing. They pay for their own hotel rooms yeah. and everything wow. like that. <laughs> Good. So now we're right here. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, I like that. I'm 86 years old, and I don't know how long I'm going to be around, but, you know, it's going to have a, a big impact on my life. I won't be afraid to open my mouth and, and feel like, well, I'm the center of attention. 
in contemporary society, there are a lot of people who have struggles. And until you walk a mile in somebody else's shoes, you don't know what their struggles are. I hit a car. I hit my head on the, on the stand wheel. My teeth went out. How long have you been without those front teeth? Oh, uh, about a year. So when they come to our department here, we take a little bit of time and listen to their story. And a friend of mine that knew I broke my teeth called and said, John, do you know that they're doing this at the Yukon? I said, no. I said, hurry up. And get there. Get there. And I've already heard stories of people who had dialysis and had to have kidneys replaced and everything, and that they neglected their care or the medicine they were taking affected the health of their teeth. I got a transplant last year. After dialysis, now it's like, I could breathe a little bit, I could smile a little bit or something like that, it's really good. Everybody just came together and helped our situation. Happy, <laughs> was happy. That's it, it's good. I, I'm thankful. 10 years younger, have a look. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, you're back in action. Yeah, I'll be getting some looks now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you guys so much. This is a blessing, it really is. Smiling and I feel good about myself. And when I said to him, where are you going first? He goes, I'm going to church. Jessica moved here from Venezuela nine months ago. She had her orthodontic treatment begun in Venezuela four years ago. So she's not had any wires in, she's not had any adjustments, they've just been sitting on her teeth. She's a beautiful young lady with these nuggets on her teeth here. And so she asked us, could we please help her and get the braces off. And we're happy to help her. Oh. <laughs> You're very welcome. My family doctor. <laughs> I have to thank Yukon. Yukon has been absolutely phenomenal. They truly committed themselves to the project and helped us get through everything that came in the way. They helped us get through it. We share all of the same goals and objectives of Mission Immersion and the Connecticut Foundation for Dental Outreach. It's doing the right thing for the people that we serve. Oh, it's been wonderful. And it's really been the same people for the 15 years. So one of the issues that we do have is we need another generation to take over and give us a hand. You know, it's just time to pass the reins on to a younger generation. We don't want it to stop at all. And it isn't going to stop. Oh, I sure hope they keep this going. I mean, uh, they've helped me, you know, immensely just by taking that tooth out. And uh, I see, you know, a couple hundred other people that I think they're going to be able to help out too today. So, yeah, uh, it's pretty awesome. For 15 years, people line up in the middle of the night. They're tired, they're hungry, and they smile all day long. They don't have to say anything. You can see that they're grateful and, and they're appreciative that we're here. All I can tell you is CT Mom is here to stay as long as the people need us. We will be here. We will be here.